October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and WSAV is on your side with resources and information designed to guide victims toward help. Today, we're going to talk about the cycle of abuse, how to recognize the warning signs, and some safe exit strategies. Some of the material may be sensitive to young viewers or to those who have experienced trauma, so we invite you to take a moment to make sure your home is ready to hear this story. It's a difficult topic, but it could mean the difference between life and death for someone who's in trouble. Please watch. Hurt people, hurt people. That old adage may explain the cycle of abuse, but it doesn't excuse it. According to the National Domestic Violence Hotline, 24 people per minute are victims of abuse by an intimate partner, but many people are unclear of what domestic violence is, nor do they understand the risks. It can possibly get real bad. A victim can definitely be hurt or killed by their abuser. The cycle of abuse can often start with a child who witnesses violence in the home, according to advocate Karen Alston. It can harm their emotional, their psychological, and social development. Doretha Rice is the program director at Safe Shelter. She says when those children grow up, they may not be able to recognize red flags. They don't see it as an abuse because they think it's normal. They think it's normal behavior because a lot of times they've seen that behavior before in their parents. She told me abuse starts off small and then grows. If a woman is pushed, if a woman is constantly being yelled at and it doesn't stop, then she's entering into the cycle of abuse. That's the tension stage and then the physical stage will occur. Once the abuse sets in, many women don't want their family, friends, co-workers, or church members to know what's going on. Victims often remain silent. They're isolated from their family and friends, and that's one form of power and control. That's when the abuser has power and control over the victim. Loved ones may know what's going on, but often they just don't know what to do. And we don't want our loved person, our loved ones, to go through it. So we're just like, why don't you just leave? Shannon Bates with Safe Shelter says rather than offering advice, the best thing to do is listen and be ready to act when needed. They can be there as a resource to say, I understand what you're going through. You may or may not be ready to leave, but I'm here to listen and, I, and I'm here to help when you need me. Many people simply don't understand why women stay in toxic relationships. It can be for a number of reasons. It can be for the children. It can be for love. It can be for financial reasons. It really just depends on the victim. It takes a victim up to seven times to finally decide to leave her abuser. When that time does come, it's important to have a safe exit strategy. So we have checklists of things you can put in an emergency bag, of documentation you might want to gather together. Um, and I, so I think I would just be developing that plan. What are your resources going to look like? Are you going to have transportation? What will your kids need? Do you have your medications? Those sorts of things. She needs to also have a second cell phone for safety as well. If things become dangerous, the police are there to help. Chief Jeff Hadley of the Chatham County Police Department says officers are trained to spot signs of violence. They even have a lethality screening to determine how likely a victim is to be killed by her abuser. Is there any damage in the house? Does it look like there was a scuffle, uh, fist through a wall, fist through a door, things, things you know, knocked over, things of that nature? Um, you're going to look for um, how the uh, alleged victim you know, behaves. Um, are they sheepish? Will they not answer your questions? If you or someone you know is in danger, make a call. There are resources. Help is available. When you're ready, Stop the cycle of abuse before it affects the next generation. You are not alone. And there is a community that cares about you, that want you to be safe, and also your children, if you have children. That all you have to do is pick up the phone and call.